extroverted intuition or what I call verbal linguistic intelligence. I wish I was as good at this function as some people online suggest I am. Still, I'd like to dive into what this function is and how it works and I want to show you here what I've been doing. So I've been breaking down these complex traits like intuition and extroversion to smaller and more nuanced traits to try to understand what it is. So for example, extroversion can be a form of assertiveness or putting yourself forward, but it can also be teamwork skills, the ability to work together well in a group or to enjoy group activities. Intuition on the other hand can take the form of curiosity or imagination. Now this gives for a certain specific set of skills and abilities in the extroverted intuitive. For example, we know the extroverted intuitive to be relatively courageous, somebody that puts themselves forward, takes risks, tries new things. Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor here and I just recently revamped my coaching program. So I just wanted to let you know that you can now get coaching for $99. My coaching can help you understand yourself better. So there's been many times in my life where I've wanted to talk to a coach. Times when I moved to a new country, times when I changed my career, and times when I've had to deal with new and difficult situations like overcoming a breakup. I've developed a coaching program based on the kind of coaching that I would have liked at the time of these changes. And so I have this fine-tuned way to help you find out your best fit personality in your personal development. You can book your slot directly to my website and find out more about yourself and how you think. And you can use this inspiration and personalized exercises and reading to further your own personal development, getting help, working on your weaknesses and improving on yourself. That's it for today. If you're interested in coaching, check out the link down below. Let's get on with the video. We also see extroverted intuition as a relatively enterprising function, a function that tries to innovate and come up with new ideas. This is what makes many extroverted intuitives natural entrepreneurs. I can also see skills in teamwork and curiosity or surveying. So trying to figure out different ideas and how they would perform in reality, testing out would this work, would that work, or would this work? The ability to explore and learn quickly from what's happening around you. I also see a relevant activity here in acting skills. The ability to imagine together with other people, to be able to role play or to play out ideas and have brainstorming sessions and discussions with others. On the other hand, we can talk about four key weaknesses. Often when you develop this function but you neglect your inferior function, you might struggle with developing consistent sets of habits. You might also struggle with taking on duty. You might struggle with concentration and you might struggle with the ability to mindfully engage with your environment to be aware of what you're doing as you are doing it because you're so much in your own head and your ideas. Here there are other things that can come up too. For example, Extroverted intuition can, to some extent, depending on your subtype, also fall into reformation skills, the ability to reform and improve on existing ideas and reinterpretation. So the ability to change perspective or to see an idea in a new light by thinking of a new viewpoint or a different way of looking at something. I can also see it falling into the ability to be determined in your ideas, so to be a little bit more ambitious in seeing something and seeing how something should go and trying to work towards manifesting that and towards empowerment. Extrovert intuitives tend to be quite empowering people to be around because they have this ability to make people believe that it's possible to do something that is wildly scary and slightly risky. That's my advice for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.